Hello my YouTube friends. I thought it was time I released a video that outlines how to pick up women because, well, I think that this is one of the very first steps you need to master in order to meet your ideal woman. This video will outline how to pick up women and it gives you a couple different strategies to try out so that you can find the one that works the best for you. There's so much information out there on how to pick up women. This information comes in different forms from sleazy pickup lines to the debate between day game and night game or whether or not to open up with a compliment. But I want you to decide what works best for you. So I've broken down a few pickup strategies for you to try out and find which one you like the best and which one actually works best for you. And don't worry, if you were confused by any of the terms uh, stated above like day game or night game, you can rest assured because they will all be explained in due time. But before we get into the contents, I just want to remind you that if you have any questions throughout this video, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you personally as soon as I can. All right, for the first part of this video, I want to discuss day game versus night game. Day game is exactly what it sounds like. It means to pick women up during the daytime. And on the other hand, night game refers to picking up women in the evening and it usually involves a bar or a club. There are advice givers that advocate for one over the other, but it's usually pickup artists that recommend day game. And for the most part, I would agree, but I would be a hypocrite if I said that people never met a future partner in the party scene. So I know of a lot of clients who are successful at both. But today I have three day game strategies for you to try and see how they work for you. This is not an exhaustive list by any means, but is a good stepping stone for you to figure out what works and what doesn't work for you. I'm essentially asking you to practice approaching women. The more you do it, the better you will get at it. Along that road, however, you're gonna run into some speed bumps and those speed bumps are rejection. Sometimes traveling on that road might feel like one speed bump after the next, but the more experience you have, the more resilient you will become and the better at approaching women you will get. So treat the whole experience as a game and try to prove to you and only you how well you can do at this. Here then are three different types of day game approaches for you to try. The first is a directions question. This one is good if you're new to the game and you just want to get your feet wet. It goes like this. You stop a girl or two girls who are walking down the street and you say, oh, excuse me, can either of you tell me where the closest coffee shop is? Now I might caution you from using Starbucks because while well, it's been around for quite some time and women might have caught on to this pickup line, you can change it to any kind of coffee shop, chain store or restaurant, something universal about which a lot of people know. It doesn't matter if the woman you're asking doesn't know where it is, like where you're talking about, because you use that line as an excuse to talk to her. From there, it's your opportunity to transition into a conversation. If she doesn't know, ask her where she's from and what she's doing visiting here. One of the benefits of approaching women in the daytime is that there's less competition as opposed to picking up women at the bar. Approaching women in the daytime gives off a more genuine vibe than say a club or a bar. In the daytime, generally, men don't have liquid courage under their belt, so women feel that if they get approached by someone who is interested in them, they have an easier time responding because you don't seem desperate to take a girl home from the bar. To women, you're saying, I generally want to get to know you and not just on what's under your clothes, without saying those exact words. For the most part, single women want to be approached all day, every day, so remember that. You'd be shocked at how many women actually want to be approached and at any, at any time of the day and how often they are not being approached. It was shocking. Women are actually extremely open to being approached if you are genuine in your method. This is a much easier way to build a connection with someone and women want to be approached soberly in the daytime. It sets you apart from the pack and shows her right from the get-go that you have confidence. Also, this is the best way to meet attractive women and not have them just blow you off after you've just bought her a drink as is customary in a bar. If you've managed to approach a girl successfully, then you should head over to katespring.com slash free and pick up a free copy of my attraction handbook where you will find a variety of tips and techniques on how to increase attraction with any woman you want. Remember, that's katespring.com slash free, and it's completely free. The second type of daytime approach is the compliment. This one takes place on the street. If you live in a decently busy city, the downtown area is a highway of hot women. That is one of the best places to people watch and to start focusing on the type of woman you want to approach, the one that catches your eye. This approach, first and foremost, takes a certain level of confidence. Your goal here is to approach a woman, get her to stop walking, and give her a compliment, which will lead up to a conversation. How you do this is you spot a girl and you get close enough to her and depending on where you see her from, whether you're across the street, behind her, in front of her, you have to stop her without seeming like a stalker or pervy. 
So don't yell at her from across the street being like, hey, you, the one with the gray t-shirt, I'm walking with the puppy. I think you're really hot. No, that's not what I'm talking about here. Like, no, just don't do that. What I mean is that say you spot her from across the street, walk to her side of the street, get to where you are just in front of her, stop her by putting your hand out, but not to touch her. But you can say, excuse me, I just had to ditch my friend over there because I thought you should know how captivating you are, even from across the street. Or you can lead with, um, excuse me, can I just say that you look gorgeous today? My name's so-and-so. You insert your name. The compliment gives her an easy out in that she can just say thank you and walk on, or she might linger while you're still standing in front of her, which will allow you to introduce yourself and hopefully you can get her name and strike up a conversation. This is a great way to meet women on the go, because how many times have you done a double take on a woman and thought, whoa, I wish I had the courage to go up to a girl like that. Start telling yourself that you can do those things and most importantly start picturing yourself being successful at approaching women like that. Think of a scenario where you approach a woman with a confident body posture and mindset and visualize yourself making her laugh and getting her phone number. Start to see yourself as that guy that gets the girl's number and the guy that is confident and charming. Once you start telling yourself this story, couple this with visualization and practice and pretty soon that is the type of man you will become. Why I want you to practice is because I want you to know what to expect. I don't want you to think that you can watch one video and be a master pickup artist. Learning to do anything and do anything well takes time and practice. And that is what I want you to start doing. Start practicing. So start with these types of approaches. All right, and the third approach is an observation. And this can take place really anywhere. Day, night, indoors, outdoors, you name it. The observation approach basically means that you approach a woman with an observation about her or what she's doing. For example, a woman catches your eye sitting down at a table drinking a coffee or you approach her with an observation about something, anything. She eating a muffin, reading a book, newspaper, mindlessly checking her phone, is she working on her laptop, is the coffee shop her office. There are so many things to observe with people you can also make a statement about. The location, the coffee shop, the park, wherever you guys are, your job is to start a conversation by making an observation. So, for example, you walk up to her, you make a statement like, wow, your tea smells like heaven. Or if you're in a lineup together, you could say, have you ever been here where there wasn't a lineup? Or if it's raining outside, this coffee is worth the wet feet for an eight hour workday. Make a statement and it doesn't have to be fancy. It, an observation about anything in your surrounding, then expand on it. So you make an observation and then part two is to expand. Even if she's looking around with like the, oh my God, is he talking to me look on her face? Uh, you could say, I haven't found my perfect tea yet, but I come back here every day hoping to find it. And then just ask her what she's drinking. It's so simple and depending upon where you are, you can use this method. And the best thing about this is that it isn't reserved for the daytime. It can be used in a bar, nightclub, class, really anywhere. So pay attention to your surroundings and make an observation. The wittier the observation, the better. In reality, it all comes down to, to your delivery. If you're charming, witty, and endearing, and I know you think that I'm just throwing adjectives at you, but I'm not. It boils down to being confident. And if you walk up to a woman with a sense of purpose, with a strong gaze, she will engage with you. However, if you walk up to a woman with like shifty eyes, hunched shoulders, and like a meek demeanor, chances are she'll try to brush you off. It all comes down to how you present yourself. And how you present yourself is a direct result of what you think about yourself. The key is to think positively and confidently about yourself. All right. Now I invite you to go out and try these approaches. Start with whichever one appealed to you the most and go from there. Start by asking for directions or by complimenting a girl or by making an observation and report back. Try all three and see which one you like the best. The goal here is to get you out and doing these things because the only way you will improve is through practice. And remember, don't be discouraged if you get rejected or she laughs or walks away. Approaching women takes confidence and if a woman can't appreciate that, then she's not the right type of person to whom you should be attracted. So that's all I have for you today. YouTube friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And please don't forget to head over to katespring.com slash free and get your free copy of my attraction handbook. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'm Kate Spring.